loves welcome back so I am here with another video and today's video I gotten a lot of comments on how to keep your wig in place without it sliding back so I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys to show you exactly how you can keep your lace front wig secure uh, keep it keep it in place um, without using any type of glue and not having to sew it down so if you guys are interested then definitely keep watching this video so the hair that I am wearing or the hair that I use to make my wig is from you make you amazing hair and I have three bundles as well as a frontal I have their texture body wave and in the lens 14 inch so the three bundles are in 14 inch and the lace frontal is in 14 inch as well the first step that you need to make sure that you do in order for your wig to stay secure to make sure that it fits properly on your head and it will not start sliding back is to make sure that you are using your exact head size okay and now when i say head size is when you make your wig you need to make sure that the mannequin head that you are using is the same size as your head if it is too small your wig will not fit if it's too big your wig will start sliding back okay so my head size i always tell you guys is between a 21 and a half to 22. now i kind of you know uh switch back and forth from a 21 and a half to 22 just depending on how i have my real hair styled underneath my wig now for this wig i did decide to make it on a 22 inch mannequin head i'm using a dome cap i'm making sure that i stretch out the dome cap and the way i place my frontal is i make sure that you that I place my frontal well uh, um, in front of the dome cap okay you want to make sure that you're placing that lace frontal about one to two inches in front of your dome cap then you want to make sure that you're using correct stitching when you sew down your lace frontal and it should look something like this okay now in order the way that I made this wig is I went ahead and just sewn it regularly. Um, I think I doubled the webs most of the time because I wanted to make sure that I stuffed all the hair that I possibly could onto this wig cap. Now, once you make your wig and that wig is the exact or close enough to the head size of yours, Go ahead and place the wig onto your head and that's exactly what I did. I've already cut the excess lace. I've already um, plucked the hairline as well and I made sure that I uh, the knots are hidden on my lace frontal, okay? So a lot of times people do not know that a frontal, the size of a frontal is 13 by 4. That means it is 13 inches from ear to ear and it's 4 inches for the parting space, okay? Now, for ear to ear, a lot of times your head size, your um, ear to ear measurement may not be the same as the frontal. Most people, like I told you guys before, is between maybe like 11 and a 12, okay? So as you can see, the frontal is covering my the top of my ear and you definitely don't want that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part the frontal where the ear is at in a U shape, upside down U shape, okay? Because that's kind of like the shape of the top of your ear. So once I parted with my rat tail comb, what I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that excess part off, okay? And this is, ex is, ex this is is exactly how it should look once you cut that part off okay you see that it is no longer covering the top of my ear it's going behind my ear now after you do that what you're going to do is take of course an elastic band okay um, an elastic band is very good to use to make sure that your wig unit fits snug and it lays down in the front as well as the back now before you start cutting your elastic band and placing it inside of your wig cap you want to make sure that you do your back ear to ear measurement so you're not doing the front you are doing the back you are taking 
the very front of your ear and then you are wrapping the elastic band behind your head and around to the other side now with mine within a, for a lace front wig is about a 12 inch so i'm going to cut that excess uh band where the 12 inch uh ends you really don't have to use a measuring tape. You can just make sure that you place the elastic band from the front of your ear to the back of your head and then around the front. And then you can kind of like pull it a little bit because it's going to stretch when you do sew it inside of your cap. So you want to stretch it a little bit and it just all depends on your uh your comfort I stretch it just a little bit just to make sure that the elastic band would not fit too tight and then I just cut it off now once I cut the band I'm going to go ahead and start sewing it inside of my wig cap now the where you want to place the band you want to make sure that those the front of the band on each side it hits where the ear tab is okay and I know some of you have left me comments and you get confused on exactly how to sew the band inside your wig cap. Just place it, like I'm showing you guys right now, just place it right along the back of the wig cap. That's the back, that's where the back of your head is going to be. If you place the band right along the back of the wig cap and start sewing it on one side or sewing it on the other side you shouldn't have any issues with the way the elastic band is supposed to be sewn inside of your cap okay just make sure that you follow exactly how i am sewing it inside of the cap and then also when you guys start sewing it you can just do a traditional uh stitch technique make sure that you are sewing close together make sure your stitching is close together because you're going to be doing a lot of stretch stretching on that band and a lot of times when the band stretches the stitching starts coming loose so you want to make sure that when you do stitch those stitching is close together now the next step that you're going to do is go ahead and place your wig on your head you want to see if the band is too tight if it fits properly or if it is too loose now if it is too loose what you can do is you can take apart one side of the the, the sewing that you did and you can cut a piece off and then sew the band back inside the wig or you can do it another way you can cut the band in half right down the middle and then you can overlap the band on um, overlap one side of the band to the other side of the band and then stitch that together now if the band is too tight what you'll probably have to do is actually take out the whole entire band and then remeasure the band and then sew it back inside of your cap okay now a lot of times uh, you might not have to go ahead and apply like gel or anything like that to the front of your hairline the only reason that I did was because I was going to be wearing this wig for a couple of days and I just wanted to make sure that that front hairline was not going to flap up anywhere so that's why you guys see me applying the got to be gel to the front of my hairline I'm not applying it I'm not applying a lot is because the band has already made my wig fit snug I just want to make sure that hairline is not flapping up if the wind blows a certain way okay so I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I just want to give you guys a, a really quick overview of uh, You Amazing Hair. I have been wearing it for a little bit of time. So far, so good. There was no smell or odor. Um, I really don't experience um, a lot of tangling or shedding with this hair so far. The body wave on this hair is really good. Um, it does take great to heat as you guys can see the hair looks really full. It's really bouncy I did not go in and cut any type of layers. This is exactly how the hair look once I curled it with a curling wand So if you guys are interested in you Amazing hair, I will leave all the information down below in the description section I just want to say thank you so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure you also follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Shay Amore. And I will see you guys in my next video.